From the vantage point of an active and vibrant campus, our minds don't necessarily go to the disposition of criminals being released from prison. But for some students and faculty at the University of Michigan School of Social Work, that's exactly where they place their attention. Jimmy Rhodes investigated a program that not only saves states money, it also invests in precious human capital. Mary King heads up the Ann Arbor office of the Michigan Prisoner Reentry Initiative, or MPRI. Prior to the program's launch here less than three years ago, Washtenaw County, home to Ann Arbor and the University of Michigan, had the highest recidivism rate in the entire state, a whopping 76 percent. We started with the women because... There's certainly money to be saved, around $35,000 a year per inmate, and more for those with special needs. But services for returning prisoners can still be a tough sell. How do you make an argument to people who might uh, have objections that this is a worthwhile program? It's a really great point. Somewhere between 90 and 97 percent of all of the people who are incarcerated are eventually going to be released. So as a community, we don't really get to say whether people are coming home. What we do get to say is how they're going to return. Before, people would complete their sentences. They would get a, a check if they had anything in their account with no means to cash it, no cash in hand. They would get taken, if they didn't have family to pick them up, to the local bus station and dropped off with no housing in place, no employment in place, no services. So it's not really a big surprise to me that there was such a high return rate. In our community, about 30 to 35 percent of all the people who come back here um, come back without stable housing. So there was a large group of people that were staying in either one of the hotels in town with not a very good reputation, or they were um, staying at the shelter, which was a, a burden on the shelter system. You sit down to tackle a problem like this, where do you start? Well, you start with looking at the evidence. So there are, in fact, evidence-based practices for what it takes to move someone successfully from prison back into the community so that they can eventually stand on their own and become tax-paying citizens. I mean, that's what we all want, right? Sure, yeah. We want them to be successful and to become taxpayers. And there are practices that we know work. Among those practices is a full court press of services in the critical first 90 days after a returning citizen's release, beginning with a meet and greet just days after leaving prison. For people interested in going back to school, it's a chance for local law enforcement, support services, and the community in general to welcome returning citizens. Of course, this community also happens to be home to the University of Michigan, which gives the Washtenaw County MPRI a bit of a leg up. Having U of M in our backyard has been a tremendous resource for this program. Many of the people who are involved in our program are U of M either students or alumni. Every single semester, we have a plethora of master's and social work students who come and do their field placement here with the MPRI program. And as a result of those students, we're able to offer a lot of adjunct benefits. For example, um, U of M students have helped us coordinate some of the public education presentations and go out in the community and talk to potential employers to see if they'd be willing to hire folks with a, a felony conviction. We're looking at trying to reduce some of the barriers to employment for this group. And we have UMM students who are helping us with that. We're also doing a bowling night coming up. Many of those students catch the MPRI bug and stay on as staff to keep helping this stress population. I graduated from the University of Michigan, but I'm here as an AmeriCorps VISTA. Have they been given any advance notice of what resources are going to be waiting for them? Everyone gets a video in reach. It's a two-way video feed from the oh. parole office to their facility. Um, and it's me, their parole agent, um, if they're in commercial housing, it's the housing director. Um, we talk about employment and the mentorship program. And uh, they also set dates for an appointment at the Department of Human Services, um, for the meet and greet and things like that, so that they know what they're coming into and what services we will provide them with. The involvement of University of Michigan students, alumni, and staff has helped the Washtenaw County MPRI office achieve some staggering bottom line results. So let me get this straight. Okay. You're, you're talking about uh, lowering recidivism rates in the state of Michigan by 26 percent. Correct. Which in Washtenaw County with roughly 300 uh, prisoners being released per year. Yes. Would be 78 prisoners. 78 prisoners. Times say $35,000 $35. to keep them incarcerated. Yep. That's $2.73 million. It's a lot of money. Well what does the program cost? Our program costs around $800,000. 
and that provides housing, um, transitional employment, employment services, bus passes, cognitive restructuring, relapse prevention, the whole gamut of services for $800,000. Which puts you at a net positive. A net positive. Of $1.9 million. Wow. Incredible. That's great. So what could the objection possibly be? Well, one of the objections is that we're being soft on the criminals. But now they've done their time. They have. I think that at some point there needs to be um, a day when we say that's enough. You've paid for your crime. That's enough. And you get to start over. One, two, one, two, one, two.